dive it is to the future of transportation was what TCP IP was to the internet, right? Well, instead of predicting the future, you're here inventing it. You're laying out the fabric, the foundation, the protocol, the underlying plumbing to connect things and people on the network to enable them to communicate and transact and discover each other. So I've been working on some of the cutting edge, bleeding edge innovations all my career and um, looking at you know, how we can take some of these emerging, converging technologies, deploy it at customers to solve some of the most pressing problems. Businesses more often than not, they're challenged with you know, meeting supply with demand, right? Or they're challenged with visibility into inventory or you know, inaccuracies in the bill of material, right? So these are some real world problems and I'm looking at how we can use some of the latest and greatest in technologies, right? Such as big data, IoT, machine learning, AI, blockchain perhaps, right? And how we can blend them together to solve some of these problems. So it's pretty exciting because, you know, you really get to play with the latest and greatest and at the same time, you continue to operate, you know, at the intersection of business and technology. Well, right now I'm working on you know, some of the latest and greatest in technologies like big data, IoT, machine learning, AI, blockchain, how do they all come together and how they enable and light up new scenarios, new business models, right? So if you think of DAV, it's, it's laying the protocol, the foundation for the transportation industry. And it's not one player, you know, you can imagine there are multiple players that will have to come together to communicate, to transact, to exchange information. Well, the future is definitely autonomous, right? Um, but I think there are some things that will be ripe for disruption in the next years to come. One of it is, of course, the networks. You know, you have uh, networks connecting passengers to drivers or buyers to sellers or carriers to shippers. And these are all networks that are governed by central authorities, right? Um, the whole idea of internet was to break the middle band, right? And now we have these networks that are owned and operated by central organizations. So I think that is going to change, you know, with blockchain coming into the picture, net networks, the internet, it will become more decentralized, distributed. The other thing that I see will change is, um, you know, new business models that will emerge. Today, cars, they're the fastest depreciating assets. They lose 30% of its value on an average the moment you drive it out of a dealer, right? And this will change with self-driving cars. You know, they will now become revenue generating assets. They'll become service providers, right? And when they're sitting idle in your parking lot, right? They could be rendering services. So we'll see, you know, different kind of accounting models, business models emerge. I mean, if you look at the state of um, autonomous vehicles today, right? I mean, there's no technology company or automotive company or you know companies in the broader ecosystem who's not investing in it. They all vested into the future. At the same time, you know, the path from where we are today, where we are doing these controlled tests and pilot, right, to making it mainstream and then to taking it to level five autonomy, that will take some time. And of course, there are hurdles, right? Some of it are technical, as we know. It, right there are issues around scalability and performance and uh, you know uh, security and privacy and so on and then some of it are new challenges that will emerge right these could be social challenges or legal or regulatory challenges right because at the end of the day these self-driving vehicles they, they are not going to be powered by humans you, you know you'll have algorithms that are running these vehicles right and what if an algorithm makes a certain decision who's to be blamed for it right so we'll see new kind of hurdles that will emerge. Yeah, I think it's extremely critical that we bring the best and brightest minds from the broader ecosystem, whether it's technology companies or whether it's transportation companies or automakers into this alliance. So you have a common platform, a foundation on which you can collaborate on emerging technologies, on emerging standards, as well as you know establish some cross compatibility among the apps and services.